So we are into the scientist in you series. Uh, under that, I'm going to talk about uh, the area of both linear integrated circuits. So my name is Venkat, and uh, I'm a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. And uh, if you talk about linear integrated circuit, uh, the first one is operational amplifier. Operational amplifier will have two terminals with one output terminal. These are all called as input terminals, and this one is output terminals. To supply power to this particular op amp, we need another extra two terminals through which we are able to supply power. Current it won't pass via the input terminals, so the positive and negative terminal won't permit current, and the current will be passed via the output terminals here. So now I'm going to try to show you like uh, how the current is passed and you can you are able to see the navigation. This is how the current is passed. And you are able to see the current passed here also. This is how the current is passed. So this is how the overall functionality of operational amplifier. Now the negative terminal which is called as an inverting terminal and the positive terminal they will call it as a non-inverting terminal. How going to tell you about the operational amplifier? What is it? So operational amplifiers it's used uh, to generate or increase the bandwidth or gain of a particular voltage. So this is your voltage so it will be amplified to your very huge value. So amplifying the input value or voltage into a very huge output voltage has done by the greatest person that's operational amplifier. Now further moving uh, to discuss about the operational amplifier you are able to see the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here. The output voltage is nothing but the difference between the positive and the negative terminal. So I got the difference between the positive and negative terminal. Now I'm going to add this data value with a very high number. That's nothing but your open loop gain of the amplifier. You are able to see a very high number is multiplied to the difference of the voltage positive and negative terminal. I got this value. Now I'm trying to match this particular value to the output voltage. This is how you will be getting a huge voltage or amplified voltage from the difference of the input voltages. Now let's have a typical example or scenario that the positive terminal will be having a very less value. Let me work it out for you. So as I told the positive terminal will be having a very less negative value. Obviously, there will be a huge impact in the output voltage. You will be getting the largest negative number. You are able to see it here. The largest negative number. Now, I will switch over the scenario. I got a very positive voltage. The positive terminal got the positive voltage. Obviously, there will be a largest positive number. Here it is. So this is how the overall functionality of amplifier and the reaction of the terminals to establish or get the output voltage. These are my awards and it's my international certifications I've done and uh, these are my software domain expertise areas and my electronics domain expertise and the mechanical domain expertise areas. And thanks for watching this video. You'll be getting a lot of technical videos if you're interested. Just send me the details or your details to this number 766-766-2428. Probably you'll be getting a lot of videos. My personal request, please share this to your friends. Thank you.